Let's talk a little uh, weather right now and uh, those sprinkles you had talked about, they have arrived. They have arrived. So there are some damp areas around Portland right now. We're getting some light showers here in the city. Uh, so keep that in mind if you are taking a walk outside with the pups this morning. Uh, you'll likely see some sprinkles in your neighborhood. Temperatures will hover in the upper 40s. That is jacket weather. No need for the heavy coat, but uh, you'll want some kind of layer. By the afternoon, we're expecting a cooler day today, at least compared to yesterday when we were still in the 60s. Mid 50s today, and we'll still see a chance for a few light showers. Say good morning to JoJo, this cute palm here. Thank you for sending in this picture. You can always send your pet photos to coin.com slash weather slash pet walk forecast. A big thank you to everyone who does. There are so many in there that I get to choose from. And really, it's just me looking at all these cute pictures of animals. So take a look here at uh, Stoller Winery. Overcast skies, not as much rain down the valley. A lot of these light showers are closer to Portland and the north end of the valley. Also up to Vancouver and areas of southwest Washington. We're sitting at 48 degrees here in the city. Our sunset tonight now at 736. We're getting south-south winds at 7 miles per hour. Otherwise, it's a calm start, but we are now seeing some sprinkles rolling in from the coast. Still some spots there near Tillamook and around down the coastline that are seeing some light showers as well. But a lot of areas are in the 40s as we kick off our Wednesday morning. Now there's a look at this very weak front that is rolling on through. Right now we are seeing some rain towards the east sides of Portland. Here's that closer look. Some showers out towards the west end of the gorge too, out to areas near Troutdale. You can see some showers there on I-84, also I-205, the Glen Jackson Bridge. Uh, likely seeing some showers now towards the east sides here of Portland. That's where those showers are really falling at this moment. But the rest of the morning, we'll see off and on light sprinkles here. Chance for some showers still continues into our afternoon today as the system rolls on through. We'll also see snow showers up in the mountains too. That's great to get again in our forecast after being so dry up in the mountains. Uh, now going into Thursday, we'll likely kick off the morning with a few scattered showers. We do dry out into the afternoon as well, so there will be some dry time as we move forward into the next couple of days. Thursday afternoon, much of Friday and also much of Saturday. We'll see dry conditions, but again, we're tracking some snow now. That's your view up to Mount Hood Meadows. We have really seen a lackluster uh, or lackluster activity up in the mountains the last couple of weeks here. Uh, 24 hours ago and uh, what we've observed up there, really no new snow base now at 88 inches. We've lost about a foot of snow in the last two weeks. Uh, so here's a look up towards government camp. The mountain pass is now uh, seeing some wet roadways as rain or some snow showers fall and melt up there. We are expecting to see snow showers today, which may give a nice blanket of some new snow up towards Mount Hood. So the passes could see one to three inches going into our evening tonight. Also through Thursday, the ski slopes above 5,000 feet, maybe six inches to about 10 inches. Our snow levels will stay cold and hover right around 35 100 feet, which is below pass level. So again, any precipitation that falls as snow may start to stick across the passes. Just check those conditions uh, before you head out. Today for the coastline, upper 40s to low 50s. We'll see light showers off and on, some breezy winds today. Gusts around 20 miles per hour in Portland and around the valley. A cooler day on tap. We're expecting the mid 50s today with light scattered showers as we head into our afternoon. Here's your seven day forecast. Again, a mainly dry Thursday after those morning showers taper off. We should see some sun breaks and a mostly cloudy afternoon. Not a bad day to get back outside. Much of Friday also remains dry, but a chance for some evening showers rolling back in Friday overnight into Saturday. Then we drive back out and we expect a partly sunny nice day on Saturday. Notice temperatures as we move forward continue to hover in the mid to upper 50s. Thank you very much. Let's get